The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex have started working on their non-profit foundation after the coronavirus pandemic forced them to set the project aside for some months. The couple are now spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on hiring the right people for their charity, according to the Daily Telegraph. After the couple stepped down from their royal roles in March, 13 of their staff lost their roles with the firm. However, the Duke and the Duchess have recruited two former employees to work on a freelance basis for their charity. Beth Herlihy and Clara Logren will be taking on commissions for the Foundation's future missions. Ms. Logren is wife of Nick Logren, the Duke's former Assistant Communications Secretary, and had worked for Harry since 2015. She has in charge of his charitable work and royal engagements and was eventually made a member of the Royal Victorian Order. Ms. Herlihy was a programme manager for Meghan and Harry from September 2018. She spent more than four years as an events coordinator at the Royal Foundation. As well as laying groundwork for Archwell, Prince Harry intended to return to the Invictus Games in 2021. The Games were created by Harry in honour of injured and sick armed service personnel and are scheduled for May and June. Speaking to The Telegraph, Royal biographer Hugo Vickers explained what the Invictus Games meant to Prince Harry. He said, The Invictus Games have been hugely successful. He's a nice boy who was doing such a good job and getting a lot out of it. The army was good for him and the Commonwealth was good for him. He seemed to have found his level and his skill. During the NHS clapping, I thought how, after the Cambridges clapped, it would have been great to have heard from him. But 2021 could also see further discussions between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family over their decision to leave their royal roles. Mr. Vickers argued this may not happen as he described Prince Harry as being in self-exile. 